tracking showers and a couple of uh, light thunderstorms here for some of us. Very isolated stuff though here in the meantime, mainly focused along the south shore, but not to worry. Those chances are going to start to dwindle, especially as we head into the upcoming week ahead. WDSU first warning, <coughs> excuse me, Doppler weather radar showing that we're watching a couple of light showers and a couple of thunderstorms down just to the southwest or actually west of the city there of New Orleans. In fact, we do have an aerial flood advisory issued for this stuff right now near Parity up towards Luling and up towards Ama as well. You can see it moving its way uh, towards the northeast in the general direction of Kenner. So this is why this aerial flood, advi flood advisory has been issued, looking at one to two inches of Doppler weather radar estimates here. Meanwhile, a little bit closer towards New Orleans, you can see just east of Fairgrounds and near District uh, and also up towards Terrytown, looking at some light showers and a couple of thunderstorms here as well. But meanwhile, in the bigger picture, last 12 hours showing that we had a couple of those showers and thunderstorms develop and spread their way a little bit towards the north and east. But those chances are going to quickly diminish as we get closer to the evening hours. Regional view showing some of those scattered to isolate showers and thunderstorms. Bigger picture in the upper levels here again, showing that we have this trough here. We're just downstream looking at some upper level moisture that we're still tapping into. But this is going to change that we'll talk about that here shortly. I want to give you an update though on the tropics. This very small area of showers and thunderstorms. It's an area of disturbed weather expected to interact with a tropical wave as it moves its way towards the west. And the National Hurricane Center still giving this a 40% chance of tropical development over the next seven days as it continues to make its way towards the west in the general direction of the Caribbean and also up towards the lesser and greater Antilles. So we'll have to watch this closely as this comes together. But for right now, no immediate threat, just something to monitor here. Temperatures right now, low 90s, 93 in Lakefront, 91 in Bell Chase. It feels like triple digits, though, factoring in relative humidity. In fact, feeling like up to 105 in Slidell, Lakefront, and 106 is what it currently feels like in Kenner. So feel like temperatures heading into tomorrow, nearly the same as what we're seeing right now. And then we got the same trend as we head into Tuesday. And the reason being is because we're tracking this upper level high pressure system across the Gulf of Mexico. And you'll see this as we forward this into motion as we head into midweek Wednesday. It continues to build across the deep south and that we're going to still tap into all that heat and humidity associated with the system here as well. Conditions will remain hot as a matter of fact Friday into Saturday, even though that high moves away. Our temperatures will be still be pretty uh, warmer than average, at least into the middle 90s, making those heat index values again well into the triple digits. So a couple of light showers and storms continuing now. You can see by this evening everything comes to a close. Let's take you into tomorrow and we're watching more scattered shower and thunderstorm development near lakefront and also up towards portions of the south shore in general by 3 o'clock in the day, dissipating by 8 p.m. in the uh, evening on Monday. And you'll see by Tuesday everything is very light in terms of those rain chances. Maybe some spotty activity here and there, but that high pressure system is really going to uh, put a damper on those rain chances. So things are looking much drier here as we take you into Tuesday afternoon, dissipating as we head into Tuesday evening. Let's talk about the WDSU first warning seven day forecast now. And we got those high temperatures into the mid 90s for tomorrow. And again, Tuesday, once again, Wednesday, maybe some patchy morning fog here as well for the next few mornings ahead. We are going to be looking at chances of rain going down to as low as 20 percent Wednesday and Thursday. Highs reaching around 95 degrees for Friday through the weekend with isolated to scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms. A week from now as we head into Saturday and also into Sunday, our low temperatures mid to upper 70s.